Welcome back everybody to Touchpress. I'm going to be showing you this tutorial how we can create your very first online template and use the one that has been already been created into your Gmail account. So usually what I need to do in order to get started with an actual email, uh, creating an email here into Gmail is to go directly into Compose and now I add the two subject and here I have my draft. So I'm going to be showing you a really great section, a really great tool that can be helping us to create something much more interesting. This one is called the Cloud 8Q. So you can find the Cloud 8Q directly into your Chrome Web Store. So find the Cloud 8Q. I click here and I add this to Chrome. In this case, I'm going to add the extension. So once you downloaded the Gmail email template by Cloud HQ, it's going to be showing it here into the extensions. And now into the upper side, it's going to be showing us the welcome to email templates by Cloud HQ. So it's going to be showing you how this actually works. It's not that hard, so just click into the lead, this draft. And now I'm going to go here into the upper side, it says Composed. So now into Composed, as you can see, we have the same tools that Google offered to us. But now we have this element that says Insert Template. So if I click into Insert Template, we can go into the Browse Template. And of course, you wanted to focus into free templates. Now here into free templates, there's a lot of great tools that we can use in order to create our uh, email campaigns or whatever. So uh, let's say for example that I want to be creating something related for pizza, for example. Or I'm going to scroll a little bit down and I have the Merry Christmas here. I have this passion. Just choose the one that best suits for you, for your needs. And after that, I'm going to hit here. We are now preparing the template. And it's going to be showing us the new error of this template that we have chose. So uh, here what I wanted to do is to change, let's say for example, this content pool mod, I can change the logo. So I hit into upload image, I'm going to hit into my downloads, and I'm going to choose my custom logo. If you don't have anyone, you just leave it like that. Here into get page ready to, I can double click here, and let's go for welcome to my mail. Celebrate, let's go for here. Food of your life, this is different text, so is yours. I leave this image like this, save now. This is an actual smart button. I can change the action type. So the action type, let's say for example that I can change this for youtube.com. We're gonna be using this one as an example later. The target is a new tab. The trendy swimming, I'm just gonna leave this like that. You can edit this as you're actually creating your own stuff. The background color, I can change this for, and let's say something much uh, like this. There we go. And now, I'm gonna just close this one. And with just two, I'm gonna send this to myself, actually, like this. And beach days, let's go for open this example. And now I'm gonna hit into send. So just wait a few seconds here. And as you can see, here is our template. It has been already been sent. It. So I click here, and there we go. Here, as you can see, is our product. Welcome to my mail. Here is yours. I scroll a little bit down, and I wanted to make sure that the product, that the button comes, goes directly into YouTube. So I click here, and voila, it took me directly into YouTube. So as you can see, it is actually looking really, really great, and it's actually really simple to create a Cloud HQ account and to add element templates and create your own templates and to get started and saving all of that directly into your own templates here into the upper side. So with that being said, guys, if you haven't already the debris and the video, but don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you wanted to see more great toes of your Cloud HQ, more stuff for Gmail, and to optimize this and make this a little much more professional. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.